hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our react js e-commerce series with laravel api and now guys as we have seen in previous video that we have fetched all the products over here and now when we click on this product we want to view this product okay so with its detail so guys, let's get started to build that so first let's move to our application at this all product page view so let's go to our react application and this is the view product guys okay and here is the link so which we have created in previous video and now when we click on this link it should go and create some url with its slugs okay so guys for that let's uh, take this products of item id let's open and close curly brace and use backtick symbol which is above the tab and give which I want to show as this is the collection and this is the mobile so this is random changing forward slash collection forward slash dollar open and close curly brace where item of dot dot slug so this category is nothing but your relationship so if you remember in previous videos we have learnt our product one so inside product model we have created that category relationship okay so with this help of relationship we are fe fetching the category slug okay and give again forward slash dollar open and close curly brace where again item dot your product name as simple guys slug now let's copy this let's copy and paste for the below link also paste it done so let's save now once refresh guys okay let's click on this red mi perfect so collections mobile and it's going to red mi url now guys let's get back and check with another one let's click on this samsung you can see samsung guys perfect so now let's create a route with this let's get back to our public route dot js file over here let's copy and paste this this will be your category slug let's give this category and again give forward slash colon where we will tell this as product okay done and let's rename this as product detail okay we are going to show product details copy this paste it here and now let's import that import product details from the same path of your view product okay let's copy this and call this over here so guys now let's move to this path and create a product details.js file so this is our view product inside this collections folder let's create that product detail.js file perfect so let me move just here and now guys let's import and create all the functions so let's copy from our view product because we don't want to waste time let's go below and just copy it paste let's change this function name guys first so let's copy this and product detail perfect so guys now let's design the user interface and just check the output so let's return open and close bracket and let's copy few design from our previous page so let's copy this and paste let's remove this make it your category and your product this view and here your h4 product detail okay save and now let's see the output guys perfect so we are on this now let's get all this data guys so this mi mobile and red mi data that's slug detail so let's begin with it so guys now over here let's move to our view product let's copy from here so we just want to save the time let's copy this full and paste 
now guys from here we don't need this category just remove that we do not require this we need a product slug and one more thing we need that is category slug okay so props dot that is your category so what you have passed that it's category copy this category and call that and for the product you have called product paste now guys you can get the data and now create a route guys so instead of fetch product let's tell view product view hyphen product not products and we need to pass the category first so category slug let's pass that dollar open and close curly brace give forward slash and separate them this will be a category slug and this is your product slug guys so if the data is going correctly we are mounting it so make sure you are mounted and here we are inside the if condition checking that mounted and now guys when your data is success you are going to get the product data only okay so remove that category we are not going to pass any something so just pass this done remove this 400 status we do not require and this status is 404 when it is product is not found obviously it should go back so where this value is our sweet alert so make sure you have imported the class and now guys this is set loading we have already defined over here and one more thing that is your history that we are using over here perfect and this is imported in your react router dom now let's move to this category slug copy this and send that so just paste give comma separate them then your product all set so category product and your history values is sent done guys now we will check if condition so if so we will not type let's take it from previous file if everything is like correct it will go in else condition else it will show loading product detail okay save and yep guys so you can just see now once refresh mobile where am i loading product details perfect guys so it's not showing the data because we have not created the api yet so for that also guys we will start working so guys now let's create this api so you need to just copy this go to your laravel application let's move to api.php file and create a route guys using get method so let's use get method where you will pass not api just view product forward slash your category so what you have called over here okay so category slug paste that forward slash and your product slug guys product slug comma and then your controller so let's move with it so front end controller where we will tell view product okay so copy and create a function let's move below public function with the function name view product open and close and now you are going to call the category underscore slug comma and your product underscore slug guys so these two details we are getting from your url okay now let's write the code so you can just copy from here guys which is previous video we have done that while searching the products so let's copy that and paste the same code and edit it so yep so first step guys we are moving to our category model where we will search for the slug where category slug and its status should be zero then only we are getting that and checking the condition and moving with the product detail guys so now over here at the product we have to check the slug one let's move 
and add where condition again where you will tell the slug 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 comma your product slug guys let's pass that perfect so now you can check that category of id data and your product slug with the status and getting the data guys perfect all set so after that if the product is found then you are going to show the product directly we are not going to done else you can tell no product available and if the category is not found you will show no such category found perfect guys so all set let's get back to our react application and now this api will work now let's see the output guys once so refresh perfect so we can view the page okay guys so let's get back and now we will just design a simple card to show the product guys so let me just design and show you the output over here so guys i have just designed with this where i'll just show you so this is my column md4 and this is column md8 guys and in this column md4 i have the image and in this 8 i have basic details like the product name and the brand which is in h4 tag and the description price and selling price then your label in stock and this is a simple code guys where i have copied from the getbootstrap.com under forms input groups i just took this design and edited it guys so let's get back so for this design i have just taken and this is add to cart button and this is add to with list done guys so let's see the output over here okay so this will be your preview guys so now let's get the data what we have fetched from our api and paste it over here so let's move top where you can find that we are setting the data in set products where you are you can find this data in products variable so let's copy this and paste that so first let us move and to this banner we'll open and close curly with product dot category we are going to use with the relationship and get its name done copy and paste for this so product name copy this give the product name and this is the product brand and this is your product description description so let's see the output for this one so okay let's refresh first okay so we cannot read the property name of this undefined because we will see with this api we are getting the data but this view product copy this and let's go to laravel application search for it so view product we have two api keys so one is already declared so guys let's change this url because it's repeating right over here so view product detail let's make it copy this and get back to your react app and again just paste it over here so it becomes a unique api okay and now guys let's go back to our front end controller where at view product we have one more thing which is about first so it's getting get so because of this it was throwing an error like it's undefined name okay now let's refresh and you can see perfect so you are getting that mi category name and your product name perfect product name and now guys let's display all its description and all okay let's get back go below and 
here is the product description guys so let's make this in curly brace product dot description and this is the selling price so for that what is the column field name over here selling underscore price original price let's call all the fields guys as you can see over here for the image also so let's get back and open and close product dot selling underscore price copy original price so now guys let's let's copy this and give in this alt image let's remove this double quotes and remove this over here use a back tick and get back localhost 8000 paste control x open and close curly brace where you will tell image okay and you can see guys perfect so here is the image and everything guys and for this in stock out of stock for that thing we have to just give an if else condition so just go in the above if loading time in else part let's where a while stock is equal to null let's take this while stock is equal to open and close div all set inside this I am going to take this label and add to cart quantity everything and just paste that okay now let's check the quantity so your quantity is like if open and close curly brace where your product dot qty is greater than zero okay which means this quantity qty your productible quantity is greater than zero means you should show this thing else you can just hide these things and copy and paste close the div tag guys here out of stock and make this button to danger save it let's take this available stock variable and apply it over here save now perfect so it's in stock it's shown over here let's make this quantity 20 to 0 right now for testing purpose so refresh perfect so it's showing out of stock so you have only add to this list if it is in stock then you're going to show the product let's refresh let's see what error is this okay so this error you can see this value is given but we have not handled that means this input field obviously let's get back let's move to top and this just remove this value when we work on the time we will see with this so right now we have not sending any value refresh that's it guys so let's see in next video guys for like increment and decrement of quantity and add to cart in further videos so guys in this video we have successfully fetched the product details by its uh, category relationship so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share